be. Pac-Man captivated popular culture around the world with its mesmerizing but accessible gameplay and its cute dot-munching hero. And yet, most video game critics would agree that 1982's Miss Pac-Man is not only the better game, but the more culturally significant one as well. Miss Pac-Man improved on its predecessor, adding more mazes, bouncing fruit to pursue, and smarter ghosts. These improvements came not from Pac-Man's original Japanese creator, Namco, but instead were changes that started with an enhancement kit created by a couple of MIT students who founded General Computing Corporation. They called their game Crazy Auto and reached out to Midway, the company that had the rights to Pac-Man in North America to produce it. Through their collaboration with Midway, the main character was changed to female and Ms. Pac-Man was born signaling the broadening of gameplay across the genders. There was nothing inherently gendered about early video games, but the coin-op industry certainly advertised them that way. Ms. Pac-Man represented a turn in the cultural conversation about women's place in the arcade, as well as in society at large. In the interstitial acts of the game, Ms. Pac-Man is as much the pursuer of Pac-Man as the pursued. She is no mere damsel in distress. Women and men flock to the game, and more than 125 thousand cabinets were sold within five years of its release. Hey, what's up you guys? It's probably time I stopped plagiarizing a very good YouTuber and trying to take all the credit for it. But, uh, that is pretty good stuff. You can find that somewhere on, uh, YouTube. Pretty weak of me to steal someone's, uh, video, but you can find that on YouTube. <laughs> this video is about Miss Pac-Man. For the Atari 5200. Not really my full review, but I got myself in a situation here. This is a very hard game. And I'm up to 29,000, and I have not died. This game gives you five lives, and I'll take it, because it is brutally hard. So don't feel bad. I don't even think you can switch it to three lives, so don't feel guilty. Just roll with the flow. But because I got an extra life, and I haven't died, I'm all the way up to, believe it or not, this is level six, the beginning of what is kind of like the red mazes with the pear. So this is a unique thing for me, and I thought I'd try to document it because I have never beaten these four screens to see the uh, purple on the miss on the 5200 version, at least without cheating, because you can do a level select, but I don't do it. So let us try to unpause my game and hold my camera quickly. And film. Uh oh, uh oh, gosh. You see what just happened? That didn't work out too well. There goes one life. It's really fast. And I have never. beaten. I'm already going through my power pellets too quick. Well, let's get that pair because high score does matter to me. Uh oh. This is already falling apart. Damn it! Damn it, straight to hell. The intention of this video when I did so well was... This guy's following me in. Was... I haven't even beaten the first one. Was to finally see if I could... Get the, uh... You know, the baby cartoon. Beat... But so far... I'm off to a shitty start, but it's not over. Let's get my bearings. Usually it's just about points to me, but I would love for the first time to get to the purple, which I always thought is a really neat screen in this Pac-Man. It's got multiple uh, tunnel outlets. By the way, if this is a review until I do another one, I really like Miss Pac-Man for Atari 5200. That's what this is. Oh, damn, I just missed the banana. Okay, at least I've settled down, eh? Oh, damn, that guy came down quick. Oh boy. Trying to take care of some of these upstairs dots before things get out of hand. Oh shit. Alright, well, huh. This isn't going the way I planned. This is only the second of four that I would have to beat to get to said 
purple screen. Uh oh. All right, looks like I got this. Forty thousand. Oh! I'm gonna have to... Well, I'll publish this video, but this did not go the way I planned. It's very hard! Uh, I don't hate a game, though, because it's hard. You gotta grow up and deal with the challenge. Um, I just... I'm disappointed I'm not gonna do what I wanted to for this video. Oh, shit! That went to hell in a hen basket or whatever, however they call it. That went straight to hell. Anyway, Miss Pac-Man for the Atari 5200. I do like it. And I use the converter that looks like that. And it leads to my joystick. So I'm using an Atari joystick. By the way, most of these converters have these twisty things. And with all the Pac-Man games, they usually need some adjusting. What you do is you put in a game, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man... I think they're all the same. You might think it's weird, it's not working. You move the controller in all the directions, and then you move the dials all the way to the left, and all the way to the right, all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and then set them where you normally like to set them. For me, it's like 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and then I get a working, um, and then it works until you turn it back off. Well, I did not clear it, but that's Atari 5200 Miss Pac-Man. See you later.